Welcome to yet another episode of uh, WLS Tuts. In this one, I'm just quickly going to show you how to install a local host on your Windows machine. Um, I am using a VMware, so sorry if you get a bit slow here. Um, so what you want to do first of all is you want to go to your control panel. And then um, it opens slowly, unfortunately. Just wait for it to open. Yeah, and then uh, after that's done, you want to click on Programs. And then uh, turn Windows features on or off. And then what ba basically, um, the ability to do this in Windows 7, at least anyway, is already pre-built. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm remembering that in Windows XP that you had to have had... Um, professional to be able to create a local host uh, this is windows 7 ultimate i'm not sure if it's the same thing there and i'm pretty sure it'll be the same way uh it will, to create it will be the same way in os x as well i'm not in os x sorry in windows 8 as well uh so what you want to do here i've already got it installed but what you want to do here is you want to look for internet information service or iis for sure and literally you just click the top and then um, you should get what, uh, what you need. I also clicked this one as well. And um, I don't know if that made a difference or anything, but you know, you can cl click both because it didn't really seem different to me. So I clicked both and then after that was done, I'll, I had a local host. Now I'm creating a little web application right now to on my local host. And if you did notice, I did click Internet Explorer. I'm a web designer, I just click Internet Explorer. I don't understand what's going on there. But basically, with Internet Explorer, you can do certain things like uh, get to get to the file system, which you cannot do in other browsers. And also, um, with this web application that I'm using, uh, that I'm writing for this uh, organization, that's what is installed. So yeah, this is I am actually clicking Internet Explorer. So um, as you can see up top here, we have local host. Um, in another tutorial, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to teach you how to basically add um, add man types to your, uh, to your local host as well as I'm having a bit of trouble doing that myself well I had a bit of trouble but I found out how you do it now so I'll basically do that for you um, it put, it has loaded um, there is something there but obviously like I said running here we go just running work working now like I said I'm running a, a, a uh, virtual machine so things are going to be working a bit slowly now um, to actually access that um, to actually access and edit files what you want to do is you need obviously you will need to have administrative administrative uh, access to actually do anything here uh, so you just go to your local host and the local host, your local disk and in your local disk you have this folder called inet pub it probably stands for something but I don't know what that stands for and you have this in another folder here called WW root WWW so it's early morning well actually it's still o'clock <laughs> and then here is basically where you add um, all of the files that you need uh, in the beginning you have two just two files here you have a um, you have a file called uh, a HTML document called II start or IIS start and an image file um, when you've actually created your disk in uh, your your website that you want to run on your local host, what you have to do is you have to um, call it index. I think you have to call it index because it's the only way. It didn't work when it was called something else. Now this has just been um, a quick ish tutorial, and um, as always, you know, subscribe to us if you like and what we're doing. You know, uh, follow us on the Twitter at official underscore wls. But this once again has just been another quick tutorial and as usual thanks for watching.